Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. This time we're going head to head with two big names in virtual reality. The Oculus Go and the MetaQuest 3. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Why compare a discontinued headset like the Go to something as cutting edge as the Quest 3? Well, sometimes you gotta look back to see just how far we've come, right? It's like huh? putting those old, clunky cell phones next to the latest smartphone. The contrast is pretty eye-opening. Exactly. It really puts things in perspective. So let's break it down, starting with the heart of any VR experience, the hardware. And let me tell you, the difference here is huge. We're talking night and day. Imagine trying to run a graphically intense game on the Oculus Go's Snapdragon 821 processor. It would be like, well, like trying to run a marathon with one shoe. Okay, I get the picture. The Quest 3, on the other hand, with its Snapdragon XR2 Plus processor, and now that's like strapping on a pair of rocket boots. Now we're talking. But seriously, what does that translate to in the user experience? Everything. Smoother gameplay, faster load times, even the sheer scale and detail you can experience in those virtual worlds. It's all light years ahead on the Quest 3. I bet. What about the display? Isn't resolution a big deal for VR? Huge. With the Oculus Go, you are essentially looking at the VR world through an old standard definition TV. Passable for its time, sure. Right. But with the Quest 3, we're talking about a whole different ballgame here. It's like stepping into a 4K movie theater. The resolution is significantly higher, which makes everything incredibly sharp and lifelike. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That must make a huge difference. Yeah. Especially for newcomers to VR who might be worried about motion sickness, right? Absolutely. A higher resolution display definitely helps. But what really takes the cake for a smooth experience on the Quest 3 is its 90 hertz refresh rate. Have you ever, you know, tried to read something while shaking your head back and forth really fast? Can't say that I have. Well, let me tell you, a low refresh rate in VR is kind of like that. Super disorienting, potentially nausea-inducing, not a fun time. Yeah, I can imagine. But that 90 hertz refresh rate on the Quest 3, that's the magic number. Everything stays crisp and clear, even when you're moving around a lot in the virtual world. So we've got higher resolution, a faster refresh rate, all contributing to a more immersive, more comfortable VR experience. Yeah. But then there's this other thing we hear about, six degrees of freedom tracking, six DOF. What is that, and why is it such a game changer? Okay, so remember how in the Oculus Go, you were basically a floating head, right? Like, you could look around, but that was about it. A little limiting, you could say? Limiting is an understatement. Six degrees of freedom tracking, or six DOF, well, that's why the Quest 3 really blows the go out of the water. Picture this. You're in a VR game, and an enemy comes charging at you. With six DOF, you can actually duck behind cover as they run past. Or maybe you're exploring a virtual art museum, and you want to get a closer look at a painting. You can lean in and examine every brush stroke. It's incredible. With 6 DOF, your movements in the real world, they translate directly to the VR world. So you're not just watching the action unfold, you're a part of it. Exactly. And to really seal the deal, the Quest 3 can track your hand movements too with this amazing precision. Imagine reaching out and picking up a virtual object using just your bare hands. No controllers. Nothing in between you and the digital world. It's mind-blowing. Whoa, no controllers. Now, that's what I call immersive. <laughs> but, you know, what good is all that freedom of movement if you don't have a world worth exploring, right? Right. What about the content library? How does the Quest 3 stack up against the Go in that department? Oh, uh, there's just no comparison. The Oculus Go had its share of apps and games, sure. Mm -hmm. But the MetaQuest store for the Quest 3, man, it's like... It's like walking into a massive library after browsing a, you know, a small bookstore. It's a whole different world of content. Okay, so paint me a picture. What kind of stuff are we talking about here? Well, for starters, imagine yourself stepping inside a documentary. You could be swimming with whales, exploring ancient ruins, whatever you're into. Or maybe you've always wanted to learn an instrument, say, drums. There are apps that put you right in front of a virtual drum pit with a virtual instructor. It's like having a personal tutor right there with you. That's really cool. And of course, we can't forget about the games. I mean, we're talking epic adventures, heart-pounding action, even those quirky little indie games that you just won't find anywhere else. It sounds like there's truly something for everyone. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or just, you know, curious about dipping your toes into VR, there's something there for you. Absolutely. And the coolest part is, the Quest 3 isn't just this standalone device, you know, limited to its own little world. Oh, what do you mean? You can actually connect it to a gaming PC. Wait, hold on. Connected to my computer, how does that work? So if you happen to have a compatible gaming PC, you can hook up your Quest 3 using a cable, or even wirelessly these days, and boom, 
you unlock this whole other level of VR gaming. Yeah. You get access to PC VR games, the ones specifically designed to harness the power of your computer's graphics card. Mm. And let me tell you, the difference is stunning. We're talking jaw-dropping visuals, physics that feel incredibly real, and just these massive, intricately detailed worlds to get lost in. So it's like having the best of both worlds, right? right. The freedom and portability of a standalone headset, but with the option to tap into the raw power of a gaming PC for even more intense, immersive experience. That's amazing. But I gotta ask, all this cutting edge tech, all these incredible features, it's gotta come at a price, right? Yeah, of course. The MetaQuest 3 starts at $499.99, so it's definitely an investment. I was gonna say, that's a chunk of change. It is, but I think it's crucial to look at it as just that, an investment. An investment in what, exactly? Yeah. Convince me this isn't just a really, really cool and expensive toy. You're investing in the future. This is technology that has the potential to revolutionize how we work, how we learn, how we play. I mean, we've talked about gaming, but VR is already being used for some incredible things, like training surgeons, helping people overcome phobias. Wow, I had no idea. And it's only going to get wilder from here. Imagine stepping into immersive educational experiences, attending virtual concerts, collaborating with colleagues in a shared virtual workspace, no matter where they are in the world. The possibilities are truly endless. Okay, so you're saying the Quest 3 isn't just a gaming device. It's like a portal to all sorts of new experiences. I like it. But let's be real here. Not everyone has $500 lying around to drop on the latest VR tech. And that's totally understandable. It is a significant purchase, no doubt. But I think when you compare it to something like the Oculus Go, which, while cheaper at the time, offered a much more limited experience, well, the value of the Quest 3 really shines through. It really does. The Oculus Go is a fantastic starting point, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But the Quest 3, that's like the main course, you know. Yeah. It's a whole other category of VR experience. Totally agree. The Go, it was a great introduction to standalone VR for sure. But the Quest 3, that's the real deal. It really shows you what VR can be. For sure. We've covered a lot of ground here today. We talked about the impressive hardware upgrades, that incredible feeling of actually being present in the virtual world, thanks to things like 60 of tracking and hand tracking, that massive library of content. And of course, who could forget the option to connect to a PC? For an even wilder ride. For someone who's just heard rumors about VR, you know, this has got to be pretty mind-blowing stuff. It's a game changer. And you know what's even more exciting? We're just getting started. The advancements we've seen from the Oculus Go to the MetaQuest 3 in such a short time, they really show you how quickly this technology is evolving. The things we can do in VR today, it all seems like pure science fiction just a few short years ago. So basically what you're saying is, if we're already this impressed by the Quest 3, just imagine what the future holds. It really makes you wonder what other amazing experiences are waiting for us just around the corner. No doubt. The possibilities really are limitless. And that, my friends, is where we'll leave you today with that exciting thought. Thanks for joining us for this incredible deep dive into the world of VR.